guys, the day finally came. I got my engine back. It's been, oh, I think two months. Not too bad to get it, you know, fully assembled. So this, guys, is a Gen 4, six liter. It's got LS3 heads on it. Uh, pretty much, let's go down, full build list. Pretty much what I did to this. Uh, pretty much what is inside this, internally wise. Yes, it, it looks a little ugly at the moment, okay? It needs paint, obviously, okay? So we'll get it painted. Leave it down below. What color, what, you know, what design you kind of want to see on it? I don't know, mate, I was thinking about putting like a splatter on it. Do just something different, okay? I mean, I could still just paint it black, paint it white, just do something cool with it, okay? Because this, this bare metal stuff doesn't, is not a piece. So starting off with the crank, I'm looking at the Summit Racing Pro LS crank. And by the way, I'll leave all the parts, um, you know, the list down below. We got some LS7 head gaskets. We got some uh, Trick Flow Chromoly push rods. LS7 lifters, you know, the uh, the Clevite 8 series rod bearings, the same thing with the main bearings. We got the Summit Racing uh, Pro LS Forge Pistons. We got the uh, Summit Racing Pro LS Turbo Cam. Trick Flow Beehive Valve Springs. We got the Summit Pro LS Connecting Rods. Pretty much everything internally, like uh, Rotated Assembly is going to be the LS Pro Series. We got uh, ARP mains. We got ARP head studs. Then everything, uh, everything else is pretty much machine shop wise. We got the we got the block honed, uh, we got the block hot tank. Same thing with the heads, um, the valve seats actually had to be replaced on that, uh, which kind of hurt a little bit, but not too bad. Uh, we did go with the BTR uh, rockers for it. Uh, then we did the upgraded. I'll think about it. I'll put it right here. Bing 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 bing. Thing for the the uh, tech dial, even though I can't even I can't even think of it. And then we went with the uh, Gen 4 timing cover, uh, which when I put the sensor for the cam sensor, it's gonna have a wire that goes back to back for a Gen 3. Uh, we did do the turbo drains because obviously I'm going twins. Okay, that's gotta be that's my thing. Okay, well I love twins. Okay, just great turbo loader, great. Um, if, if anybody wants to sponsor me with some turbos, you know, I'm down. I'm down, guys. Uh, we did do the Gen 4 um, ICT um, block off tube for the MSD or you know, the, D the DD AFM. Uh, oil pressure adapter uh, to run that still. And then we did go with like uh, the Slimmer series on the oil pan. Uh, so it's going to be smaller than the truck series like I used to run on the Fox body which is sitting like this far away from the ground. Which is kind of scary at times. Uh, but pretty much as an NA build I want to say this probably puts out at least 500. Uh, NA uh, for what it is, but obviously you guys know I can't I can't leave it in A. This thing's gonna have to be even Um But I was thinking about just running it uh, as is, just to have some fun with it. Uh, but this thing is pretty much ready to go, rock and roll. I can slap it in. Next, I need to figure out transmission. I don't want to go cheap on that because this this actually costed me around nine thousand um, dollars, around fifty or. Around five thousand dollars for the machine shop to get everything done and um, get everything done and uh, everything installed. Um, obviously, they threw in extra parts. I said go ahead. Um, and then obviously, from I bought everything from Summit and that was close to four thousand dollars. So, like I said, close to nine thousand dollars in this. The most I've ever spent on anything. Um, I could have bought a Coyote and but uh, no, uh, I went with an LS. Uh, which I don't regret. Okay, don't get me wrong, the Coyote is a great platform, LS is the same thing. Uh, I will never Hemi swap anything, because the uh, 5.7 Hemi's or the 6, uh, 6 1, 6 4, those things are junk, uh, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, don't hate, don't hate the comments, please don't. Uh, but everything else, this thing, guys, this thing is done, ready to go. I can drop it in and drive it. I can take this, put it in the Fox body, and the Fox body could be really, 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 really fast. Nah, I won't do that. Thought about it, I'm excited. Okay, this is finally something I've actually spent money on. Like, I, I I went full, okay? Spin once, cry once, I mean, that's it, we're done. Um, I don't think that's the right terminology for that. But, I mean, God, it's just chilling. I remember it used to sit right here forever and I didn't do anything with it, but now it's fully built. Gotta get it nice and covered. I don't want anything on it, okay? Like I said, it's finally something I've actually spent money on and I'm super, scared of it um, because it was so much money but guys that's pretty much i've been waiting on that to get back from the machine shop so i can update you guys everything else like uh wolfie's s10 is coming along nice um finishing that up hopefully i'm done uh i'd say by this weekend um currently it is sunday uh, i'm just trying to get everything 
clean back up. I got some, if you guys want to see a garage build, um, I am going to do that in the time, pretty much near future. I want to do something crazy with this thing. Um, I built this myself. Um, everything you see, I didn't put, I didn't pour the concrete, uh, but I did everything else. I put the walls up. I put, uh, all the electricity up. I mean, I want this thing to look nice because the floors are gone. Okay. Uh, how many times I've spilled fluid everywhere? I mean, these floors are just disgusting. If you were barefoot and you walked in here, your foot would be black um, in a matter of two steps. But yeah, I wanna do something with the garage. It needs updated. I need to put a second layer of mudding on it. It just, the whole nine, especially. I gotta make a door here for the back room and uh, just get everything going there. This main topic is the six liter is built. It is ready to rock and a roll. If you guys are excited, cause I'm clearly excited, you know, leave a like. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because this is going to get intense very, very shortly. And an update, Fox Body's still here. I'm going to paint it here soon whenever the weather gets a little bit nicer. It's 60 degrees today, but it's obviously it's going to thunderstorm, so there's no point trying to paint something with humidity in the air because you can tell this floor is shiny, guys. That's not normal. If you guys like this video, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully it's a lot faster than a month or something. Peace out.